hi there welcome all oh, welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber you probably probably might have noticed that i haven't been posting videos i have not posted video in a very long time please bear with me school and life has just been happening and i just stopped making videos but i am back with a very good video and i really i am really excited about this particular video because this video is not going to be helpful for just maybe people that are yet to start school it's be helpful for those that are currently in school and also those that are about to start school so whether you're schooling in the us in uk in germany sweden nigeria whatever country you're schooling in this video is going to be helpful to you so make sure to watch this video from the beginning to the end and the information i'm going to be passing to you nobody told me about these things when i started grad school i had to just figure things out on my own as time goes on i am really happy that i have this platform that i can use to share this information to be helpful to you guys so that you guys would not go through my experience of not knowing these things but now thank god i know them so in this video i'm going to be talking about why you should attend conferences as a student especially as a graduate student and also how to fund the conferences because most times these conferences would happen in a different city from where your school is or even a different um, state or even country so that means you need money of course you need money for your flight ticket for your hotel for registration for feeding and I do not advise anyone to take money out of their pocket to fund conference because it's going to cost you a lot. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you the different ways in which you can get money to fund your conference travel. So don't just just enjoy this video. Just if you if you have something, or if you have Zobo, sorry, if you have a drink, <laughs> for those that don't know what Zobo drink is, just get something, sit down, enjoy this video. <laughs> by explaining what a conference is just in case there's someone who doesn't know what a conference is once you are a student there's usually a body that you can be a part of maybe an, an association of your field for instance i am a chemical engineering phd so we have something called a key which is the american institute of chemical engineers yes american institute of chemical engineers aki or maybe you are a chemistry student there is american chemical society there are different bodies so once in a year or once in two years or however they decide to do it these bodies they will organize a conference where people in that field would gather together to do presentations posters meetings just come together to know what is going on in your field and stuff like that so it's very very advisable that you attend those conferences as a student the number one reason why you should attend conferences is that it gives you the opportunity to network with people now when you attend conference you meet people from other schools from other states other countries and even industries it gives opportunity to get to know them instead of just being stuck in your school where you only know your classmates or your people in your department or your professors but when you attend conference it gives you the opportunity to network with other people the other reason is that attending the conference gives you the opportunity to know what other people are doing so let's assume you are a graduate student you're doing your master's or your phd and there's a particular field of research that you're doing trust me you are not the only one in the world doing that kind of research and you might just be stuck in your lab just doing that thing but when you attend a conference you see a lot of people that are doing things similar to what you're doing so when you sit and listen to their presentation it exposes you to what is out there and it also helps you to maybe figure out what you can even add to your own project to make it better it makes you okay okay this thing that we are doing look at how other people are approaching it maybe there's one or two things i can gain from that and that will make my own research better so it just gives you the opportunity to see what other people in your field are doing so you're not just stuck in your lab and just doing what you're doing every now and then another reason which we students we like so much about attending conference is that it gives you the opportunity to present your research so whenever there's going to be a conference there's always a call for abstract so always have an eye for that so when you submit your abstract you get the opportunity to pick if you want to your abstract to be 
um, accepted for a poster presentation or an oral presentation. For an oral presentation, you get to stand in front of people and present your work. But for a poster, you make like a poster where you stand beside your poster and people come to you and ask you questions and you just be explaining your work to them. So after submitting the abstract, the reviewers get to decide if you'll be accepted for a poster or for an oral presentation. Whichever one you get is good. It does, they just give you the opportunity to come and present your work. And the advantage of presenting your work in a conference, uh, number one, it helps you build your communication skill. I just came back from a conference where I gave an oral presentation. I'm going to make another video. I actually vlog the experience. So make sure to watch the video. I'll try to post it after this video. So presenting gives you the opportunity to build your communication skills. Also, it gives you the opportunity to get feedback from people because when you present, people listen to you and by the from the question they will ask you, you'll be able to pick one or two things that you can even use to make your work better. Sometimes you will not just get questions from people, you won't get um, um, ideas on what to do. I know a conference you just came back from, one of my lab mates, after his presentation, one person recommended something that he should do that will make his work easier. And that's what, some of the advantages when you attend a conference, you get feedback from people on your own work. Another part of the advantages of attending a conference that I like, because I like traveling, is the fact that it gives you the opportunity to go to a new place. Like I said earlier, most times the conference will not be in your state. So let's assume you are in New York. You get to attend conference in Florida, a conference in California, in different states. So it gives you the opportunity to travel to a new place. And if you are someone like me that likes to travel, quick with the traveler. <laughs> if you are someone like me that likes traveling, you get the opportunity to travel to a new place, stay in a fine hotel, just Ha, just experience a different kind of life that is different from just going to the classroom every time or going to the lab every time. Last year, I attended a conference in Boston and I got the opportunity to stay in a five-star hotel in Sheraton, Boston. Then last week, I attended a conference in New York City. I got the opportunity to stay in a hotel in Manhattan, New York City. Like on my own, at least for now, I'm not sure. I, I don't have, no, I'm not sure. I do not have the money to pay and sleep in that hotel where a night was about $300. I don't have that kind of money but because of a conference i got the opportunity to sleep in that kind of hotel in a very expensive and fancy hotel in the heart of new york city like guys come on isn't this beautiful the last advantage i'm going to give is that it's also good for your resume having the fact that you've attended you've presented maybe an oral presentation or a poster presentation is good for your resume not only if you want to go into academia even if you want to work in the industry industries in the industries you give presentation there's always going to be meetings you're going to talk about what you're what you're working on or what your team is working on so industry people also look out for communication skills so when they look at your resume and see that you've attended conferences you've given talks in conferences it will give them it will help them know that you have good communication skills so these are some of the advantages of attending the conference if you've been attending conferences and you have other advantages please put them in the comment section so that others will read i also want to read and learn some of the advantages of attending the conference so now let's go to the second part of this video which is how to fund this conference just like i said before i got to stay in an expensive hotel in boston and in new york city of course paying for that would be so expensive for me so how can you fund this and now like i said also i didn't know some of these things before but i'm happy now i know them i'm using them and i'm now i'm able to share with you guys one of the ways that you can fund your travel is through the conference organizers so one thing that conference organizers do, they try to create a venue where students, especially students, can get funding to be able to attend that conference. Like I didn't know this before, especially when I attended my first in-person conference. So whenever you see a call for abstract, you want to attend a conference, go to the conference website just in case they did not include it in the email when they were calling for abstract. Go to the website and check if there are any available funding that you can apply for to so when you get to use it to fund yourself like i just got back from a conference and what they did when they called for abstract when you are submitting your abstract there's a place where they tell you that do you want to apply for this it's called cook's award if you say yes you get to submit your resume and things like that for if you are selected for the award i think the award covered registration 
and hotel bill and all those things so whenever you're applying check the website of the conference and see if they're available funding that you can apply for another means of funding a conference is through your department or your advisor i know for undergraduate students most times if not all the times the department will fund them to attend so i know when we attended a conference last year in november the undergraduates in my lab the department funded them to attend the conference but if you're a graduate student the department might fund you or not it, it depends on your school and how they run their things but if they don't fund you sometimes your advisor will be the one to fund you so you also want to find out from your advisor if he has funding to be able to fund most times they do but i've been to situation where my advisor did not have complete funding to fund me so i had to sort for funding from other sources to be able to make up um, for the part that he cannot fund why in some cases your advisor can just fund everything so check with your advisor and with your department if they have funding to fund you to attend a conference another way that you can fund your um, conference travel is grants from the school i got that one this year i was really happy about that so usually there'll be some uh, bodies some organizations in your school and sometimes they tend to have grants for funding students who want to go for a conference like in my school it's called the graduate student association and there is funding there to be able to fund students to travel for conference but it's not as if if you just go and meet them they will give you money you have to apply a lot of people will apply if you win it you get it i applied for one this year and God helped me, I won it. So it was part of what I used, adding with what I got from my advisor to fund my travel to New York City. So check with your school associations if they have funds for conference. The other source, which is gonna be the last one I have here is other, I called it other source of fun. Now other source of fun can be maybe there's something that was organized in your school, maybe a competition or something like that, and you participated in it and you won and they gave you money. So if they give you that kind of money, you can use part of it to fund your travel. So this four means uh, four ways that you can fund your travels to a conference as a student so guys make use of the opportunity and make sure you attend conferences trust me you will never attend a conference and come back regretting it it's always worth it like the one i attend i just got back last week it i told someone that i think that conference was the highlight of my <laughs> of my of my degree so far the person was laughing at me because it was a very wonderful experience a very very wonderful experience and like i said i vlogged it i vlogged my presentation i vlogged um staying in the hotel i vlogged staying in the city so i'm going to be making another video we am going sharing then i hope you guys enjoyed that video so once again thank you for watching this video i'll be tagging this video grad school episode one from now on i'll be making videos for people that are already in school because i'll also be making videos on how to apply to schools but i'll also be making videos that are beneficial for people that are already in school because most of you watch my videos for f1 visa for how to study abroad and then you got the admission you subscribe now you're you are studying of so i don't want the channel to be useless to you i'm going to be providing things that are useful to you as a current student so i'm going to be tagging them episode one episode it's gonna call grad school series or something like that so this is the episode one watch out for episode two turn on the notification bell like this video if you've not liked it because why not it doesn't cost anything to like it <laughs> and make sure to subscribe please if you've not subscribed to my channel and make please just drop a comment let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any question let me know if you've attended conferences before you have any tips to add please just add it let me also hear from you guys and also that i've been let me also hear feedback from you guys. Thank you so much once again for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.